Assalama, assalama, assalama. I know some of you will be wondering what I'm actually doing. But that's because this time around we decided to travel far away to the northern part of Africa. To the land known for its golden beaches and its sunny weather. We decided to travel to the Arab land and try this beautiful delicacy called Molokia. They have the Egyptian Molokia, but this time we are doing the Tunisian Molokia. So right here, we are in Tunisia. So together, let's go straight into the kitchen and start cooking our Molokia. What we need, here we have our Molokia powder. I have about five tablespoons of Molokia. And then I have my um, harissa sauce. It's a bit spicy, it's a spicy sauce, the harissa sauce. Then um, I have my tomato paste. I went in for about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Now in our tray here, we've got some crushed um, garlic, some coriander powder, um, some turmeric powder, and uh, some uh, tabel and kawia powder, bay leaves, and uh, our paprika powder. Then I went in for some um, beef, and I went in for beef with bones. It's very, very necessary to use the bones. Then um, I have um, one habanero pepper, two um, two long green chili and two red chili, and some olive oil. So let's go straight up to season our meat and uh, marinate it with all the dry ingredients. So we'll just put everything together and mix it. Make sure we marinate our meat. I decided to marinate my meat first before I start prepping my muluk here. So I'll let it sit for about um, an hour or two. While it marinates, we shall go ahead and prepare our muluk here. So let's mix the, the ingredients with the meat and make sure that every piece of meat is covered with um, our spices now we add in our um harissa sauce give it a good mix then you go in with your tomato paste as well so once you've added your tomato paste and your harissa sauce mix everything beautifully then you cover it and let it sit for um about one hour or two so now we've mixed everything beautifully and we're gonna let it sit while we prep our molok here now in a clean pot i'll go ahead and pour in my molok here and i'll add in my oil gradually while um, mixing it usually the the tunisians actually use olive oil but if you can't place your hands on olive oil go with Make do with what you have. You can use whatever um, oil you've got. Yeah. Um, there are also different methods of cooking the mono here, but I decided to use this one because um, I'm not a pro yet, so it's easier for me to mix it this way. Some other people actually um, mix it on on heat already, but I decided to mix mine. Um, of the heat because I am not a pro yet so once you've mixed everything together and until it looks like so like this runny yeah then it's ready to go on fire so now we're going to add in some hot water or yeah add in some hot water mix it until um, you do not have any lumps make sure that all the mulukia powder becomes watery like really watery because you have to cook it for hours it is a cooking process that takes about four minimum of four hours yeah so let's add in our water 
once we've added our water and we, we've, we've added enough water, then we can let it simmer, let it boil on medium heat. So at this stage, is everything is ready and it's time to cover our pot and let it cook on medium to low heat. We do not want to cook it on very, very high heat. Yeah. So now let's cover our pot and let it cook. After a few minutes, this is what our molokia looks like when it starts boiling. You see that the texture looks um, a bit slimy, but do not bother about that. Once it boils properly, at one point everything becomes smooth and even the slimy texture disappears. Yeah, it doesn't really look um, appealing, yeah, but the taste is out of this world. Trust me, the taste is out of this world. So let's cover it, but before we cover it, let's go ahead and add in our bay leaves. Once we add in our bay leaves, then cover it and let it continue cooking. Now you can see um, after cooking for about 30 minutes, this is what it looks like. You can see that it's, um, it's no longer as slimy as before. So we are on track. Now, we, it's time for us to add in our meat. We've been cooking for about two hours. So we add in our meat and let it continue cooking. Once you start seeing oil settling on top of your molokia, then know that your molokia is almost ready. Like I said earlier, molokia, um, the Tunisian molokia, I must precise, the Tunisian molokia cooks longer. It takes about four minutes minimum for it to be cooked. Yeah. So now we can see that our, our, um, our oil is settling on top. Our beef is properly cooked. So our molokia is almost ready. We are almost, almost there. I'll just go ahead and add in my peppers. I added it at the end because I'm going to be enjoying it. This with my girls at work. We are mixed. So you have Tunisians, you've got Filipinos. Filipinos don't really do spicy. So I have to take that into consideration. So... Um, once everything boils together, mix everything, and then it is time to say, Aish. That means thank you in Tunisian language. So I dished out some mulok here and took to work. I am handing it over to the Tunisian girl. We all had fun. It was such a beautiful day, a Molokia day at work. And I was officially made a Tunisian because I cooked it like a pro. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and see you in our next twist. I am still your girl, Genesis Twist, and I'll see you in the next one. And always remember that this is family and you can step in any day, anytime. We all licked our fingers on the mook here. I hope you try it and get to tell me how you think or what you think about it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Bye.